We're in the shop again, working on a Cadillac. Cadillac is a 1967 Coupe de Ville my dad picked up um, in like August. We went and picked this up from a guy up in Ogden, Utah. The car barely ran. Like when I say barely ran, it barely ran. Watch this video right here. We got it back to the shop, did some tear down, tried to get some things working on it, and ultimately uh, we ran out of time. So we kind of put it on the back burner and then we came back early November and started thrashing on this thing. We did a whole lot of stuff to this. We refreshed the carburetor, got all the spacers, the linkage and all that stuff figured out. Reset timing, put new fuel uh, lines in. We re-greased the front wheel bearings. We put new shocks all around, added some gauges right there. We basically went through the whole car and made sure it was street legal and drivable. We put mirrors on it, had the tires inspected. We went through a whole bunch of stuff of fit and finish, make sure that we could actually drive the car to get ready for Hot Rod Power Tour West, which was in California and Vegas. And so we took the car to do that event and had a whole bunch of problems. That will be another video, but the car ran. We drove like 600 and something miles in the event. It's gonna be an interesting time. There's a whole bunch of stuff wrong with this car. Follow along as we tear this thing apart, put it back together and get ready for Hot Rod Power Tour West. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Go down. It's fine. This looks just sketchy enough to drive a thousand miles. <laughs> oh, come on. I say, what, do we have going, what do we have going on here? So. This yeah. is a 429 big block Cadillac specific engine, four barrel Rochester. Quadrajet. Quadrajet, yes. It's base. It's just old architecture. It's it's the beginning of the modern V8. Okay. Yeah. Same exact idea. It's big. Okay. It's very specific Cadillac, and, it's, and it's it's one of those uh, one of those engines that um, there is no. It's kind of good or it's good. <laughs> it's, it's either good or it's Crap. trash. Okay. Yeah, it's either good or so, you can see through the block. So what are we, we're gonna replace the car. We're gonna replace the fuel pump. Uh, what we're gonna, we're gonna do the carb first okay. and see if we can solve the issue with the carb. All right. I have a brand new so fuel pump. What is our issue before you get going? Uh, it just runs issue? awful. Okay. Um, it leaks fuel out of the carb base and the adapter plate or the spreader. Um, so we're gonna put a new carb on. Hopefully that'll fix most of the problem. We're gonna put uh, electronic ignition in the distributor and that should be modern enough to yeah. Reliable. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it does turn on. It just runs absolute trash. So um, we're hoping we can get it all back together and it would run enough that we don't have to screw with it too much. We got plugs, plug wires, um, ignition, fuel pump, and a carburetor. Perfect. All right. Let's get started. You want to do that first? Or you want to get rid of this mess? Oh. We gotta figure out how to put a heater in this too, because it's not hooked up. Heater core or what? Well, uh, it's we got a core in it. Yeah. <laughs> got a core, but it's flat out. So, so, who, so it probably so, doesn't work. I'm guessing. I'm guessing this end right here goes yep. here, and yep. that one there goes there. But my guess is. Is the, the valve is bad or is the core bad? I'm gonna go with the yeah, core's bad. We're gonna go with the core. Yeah. yeah. Look how condensed that is. You're taking you're taking a hose that looks like this, and you're making it look like this. Right. I, I mean, like you're. It, what it really needs is a hard line. There should be a hard line. I would agree. We have hard lines. We do. We got a, we got a bender. We can make a hard line. The amplifiers? You don't know. Scalpo, doctor? Doctor? I got it. Did you just pull it off? <laughs> Did it just come off? That might have been a problem. Uh, 
That's Whatever that was, sounded. it's good. Oh, hold on, you got a you, you got a spring. One. Okay, valve spring or the drink springs up. Yeah. I I got a washer. I see. Quality. Do you want to put that in here or no? I don't care. Oh, he had it, he it, had it, it upside down. It, he had it upside down. He had it upside down. Yeah. All these, all these studs. That's what. That's that's. They're that's all why wobbly. Really, that's why. Nice. Okay. Good. Now I'm feeling like we're making fun of the prior owner, and I, that's not what we're doing. People are new at this. We're not trying to shame anybody. This stuff is. If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. To be there, fair, there is a learning curve. To be fair, stuff. he tried, be fair. and that's important. Exactly. I'm wondering if we just turn it back and turn it over and put the car back on. We can try. I'm not opposed to trying. Do we even need a stud or we need a, <clears throat> or we need a bolt that will bolt directly onto this? Oh, this smells like cancer. Extra cancery. I got some extra hose. Isn't that good? It's probably not gonna help at all, but I can say I did something. We are having a problem. Is this a common issue with aftermarket preparators? This one is not the one that was supposed to be on this car, and so now we gotta make it fit. We're gonna work with the spacer that the previous owner had, see if we can get that to line up, which it looks pretty good right now. It is. It is. It is. We'll put it back together for the third time. Third time's a charm. Give her some goose. It's gotta prime that thing because it's empty. Let's get some brake cleaner. Stop. But it should have fuel, okay? I guess too. Bing bang! <laughs> this timing's a little off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, feel. Ready? Go. The blocks are uh, rotated. Do we need a plugs are off or the uh, the timing's off. Ready? Send it. Hold on. We gotta put plug wires back on. <laughs> Crank it over, let me see what it does. Yeah, go ahead. Get a spark. Is it? Something's out. Well, I think he's right. The wires are off. 
It's still off. There's no way it would be. I can't. Firing. I can't go any farther that way. So it should be backfiring. Something's still off. Perfect. All right. Tomorrow's another day. All right. We're gonna move this thing. Yeah. It helps when the spark plug wires are actually in the right, in the spot. right spot. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, there is, I think, five different versions of uh, this big block Cadillac. This big block Cadillac. So the, um, you know, where 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 cylinders are on this particular one, number one, it goes across the front from the driver's side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is. Others that start on this side. There's and another one that starts, starts on the back. The back. <clears throat> so we figured this out and uh, we'll see how. I love how the exhaust pipe takes when you hit the gas. <laughs> That's my horsepower does. You know what it is? <laughs> Well, you used to know it was red at one time. Yeah. Oh, this door. We did it, guys. Yay. Against all odds, we kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much undercoating on this car. Yeah, we have a little <laughs> bit of drain in place. Yeah, definitely. It's a little glossy. It's probably the pan. Yeah, because it's you it's go through where the, where the no where the dipstick is. It's not it's super dry. dry. It's not as much. But so we can pull it off and put the right stuff on it. Yeah, that's a pretty quick deal. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna do that. We might as well choose the filter. I'm um, sure. Yeah. If, what is this? A Turbo 400? Most uh, likely. I think so. That white pipe is super nice. Look at that. Isn't that? <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Custom. <laughs> Holy man, look at that crap. It's I know, that's so much <laughs> junk up there. Here, let me zoom in on that, put a light on it. Yeah, that's that's good. That's like decades of making nests up there. Um, we do have power steering leak. Surprise. There's the fuel pump right there. We should replace it, it looks like, holy crap. Should we just bring the fuel pump with us? Bring the fuel pump with us? The fuel pump with us? Uh, I don't know, I would probably just... That's leaking like a sieve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is the power steering? Power steering pump. Let's lower it back down so we can put the fuel filter in line and then we'll check that. Once that's done, we'll... I don't know if we want to clean it up now or take it for a spin and then clean it up. You could take Set it to a car wash. We could, yeah. Is that the timing? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay, pull the return line out. We just capped it off right here. There, uh, we just put a uh, bolt in there with a nut. We're not gonna do the return. That was just vapor anyway, and it just terminated in the back of the car. We put a new power onto the uh, uh, starter, power line all the way to the battery. That is going to be nice and new. We'll just take this thing for a spin and see how it drives. Uh, we're gonna check transmission fluid before we go. Yes, sir. Ready? Yeah. 
you put some stuff on it? Oh, I, the the seats, power seats actually move. The, the power down, seats. Back and forth. Yeah, yeah. It's only um, uh, 50 so. years old almost. No, it's almost 60 years old. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the car yeah. runs. We're going to go take it for a spin. What do you think? Did we, did we even check anything in the radiator? Um, no, but there's coolant leaking out of it, so there's coolant in it. Yeah. Any, uh, dippy -dippy or anything that I'm gonna be. Uh, it's pretty flat all right here. All right, we're back. We did a loop around the property here. We had a small issue when we were coming back in, sitting at the gate where it died, but it started right up. We came right back in here. We're gonna let it cool down. We're gonna go get burritos and then we're gonna come back and do some other things. All right, we are out here at the shop day three. We are working on the Cadillac still. We got a couple things that uh, we stopped at the store and picked up. We are gonna do a transmission pan, gasket, and filter. I'm gonna do some vacuum line work, hoses, thermostat, temperature sensors. We threw it on the lift and started scraping some of the dirt and debris that was on the bottom of the car. And we, we took off like five pounds worth of junk. So it's gonna be a good day. Just to start. Uh, the car runs, uh, we're just gonna make it run better. I don't know if you can see that in there, but these shocks are called the AC Delco Pleasurizers. Pretty great. All right, we are done for the weekend. We did a lot on this thing. It is running pretty well nowadays. What do we do on this thing? Well, we finally got the carburetor put on and, and adjusted. We put electronic emission in it, new plug wires. We actually pulled the pan gasket, the transmission pan gasket off and yeah, fixed nice. that leak. We ran the fuel lines. fuel lines. Literally cut the air conditioning out of this because it, it had no gas in it anyway. We're gonna order some parts He's gonna go back to doing what he does. And then around Thanksgiving, he's gonna come back out. We're gonna put a few other things into this car. So we're gonna get the heater working in some manner. We need to put a coolant temperature gauge on this because the one in the dash doesn't work. New radiator hoses, put some new coolant in it. Putting belts on. So uh, we have a plan. We're gonna try to run Hot Rod Power Tour with this car. Uh, Hot Rod Power Tour West, which is in California and Vegas. And he happens to live in Vegas, so. It'll be nice and easy, and uh, we have somewhere to crash if we need it. So it's going to be a good time. We look forward to uh, the next project, and we will bring it to you as soon as we are done. Thanks.